Ladies and gents of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of The Simpsons Hit and Run. Last time we played Lisa's section and we made some good progress. We kicked Milhouse off a cliff, ran him over, beat him up, and done some other good things. As you can see, Milhouse is being treated very, very nicely there by two bullies. He well deserves that, and there's a beautiful sunset on the horizon as well. So let's get crack on with the missions and see what awaits us. We're in the lab of that wacky doctor with the monkeys. Let's talk to him now. Professor Frank! Professor Frank! My brother Bart is missing! Have you seen him? Well, let's see now. Um, Bart helped me build a monster and then disappeared in a bright light. Wow, this is crazy. I need someone to talk to who's wise and learned. So we've got to find someone to talk to who is wise and learned. Talk to Grandpa. Or we can always find a lawyer. They're meant to be learned people, aren't they? Alright, we've got some clothes we can buy. They all look terrible. They all look so bad. That's okay -ish. But we'll stick with our usual attire anyway, so that's it. And let's make our way out and let's go find Gramps. Now, what's Grandad doing here on the observatory? How did he even get up here, anyway? Surprised he can climb the stairs. Grandpa, can you help me find Bart? He's missing. Maybe I'm just a senile old man, but Bart's lucky red hat fell out of that black car. Wow, Grandpa, what a great clue. You showed why senior citizens are valuable members of the community. I think my baby teeth are growing back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. I better use something big if I want to take that car out. Like that school bus. Alright, this doesn't sound good, but let's see what we can do. We've got to get the school bus and then do this unlikable mission. Alright, let's go get ourselves a school bus. to be asking this. Look, I don't have any special brownies left. I ate them all. But do you think I can use your school bus? <laughs> oh, right. Cool. Meet my price and she's all yours, little lady. Alright, thankfully we've got enough coins to purchase a school bus. I mean, if things were that cheap, I'd be rich right now. For 300 coins to purchase a mega school bus. Alright, we'll take it. Yeah, we're left with a good amount of money, nevertheless. So, Operation Hellfish. Destroy the black sedans to find a clue. Don't let time run out. Oh, here we go again. Another time lot admission. The dreaded ones. Get into your vehicle. Get into your bus, rather. Get some dosh to recoup what we lost. And there's a wasp. A robotic wasp. We'll destroy that shortly. Some magic well. Where's our bus gone? Now we can access it through our phone thing, can't we? Phone booth. Come here, you. Take that. She didn't even connect with him, the wasp thing, and she still destroyed it. The power of Lisa. And there's the school bus, let's get it. Pick you up, you're gonna be driving it, young lady. So Lisa's broken all school well actually broken all world records. We've got to drive to the observatory. This is really sluggish. And it sounds horrible as well.
at least we have a bit of an advantage going down the hill and we can have like a bigger impact when we hit the car but going up a hill can be really painful there we go I love that reversed right into him oh, it's so pleasing to him being crushed oh no he's escaped us move it van I've got a car to destroy there's an accident on that road so we've got to seal that place up Now we've got to drive to the Aztec Theatre. That was pretty sweet and simple. It's another sedan I've been told apparently, I think. We had a chance to plow right into him, but we missed him. It's so, alright, we'll make up for it and cause him devastating damage. Come here, you sedan. <laughs> the police owners a great job there. Oh no, we've fallen into the river. Alright. We're back driving on the pier. We've got three vehicles on the pier. People on the pier should really get out of the way to save themselves. <laughs> the police gave us a bit of a boost there that we much needed. Oh no, stupid sedan's getting away. Come back. Well, that felt really good. <laughs> and the police car blew up too. That was amazing. Alright, there's another sedan now. When I thought the mission was over, I was wrong. This sedan is, is so finished. He's boxed in, he's fallen off, and he's just got us in the way. Come on, give up, mate. Excellent. He blew up. Perfect. Wait, are we in the water? Alright, we're on the beach. Drive to Mr. Burns Casino. I think we can ditch the bus now, can't we? Yeah, we'll ditch the bus. Probably fix it first, then we'll ditch it somewhere, and then go back to driving an ordinary vehicle that's not a sluggish. Oh, damaged that boat as well. And we destroyed the wasp too. Don't imitate my hitchhiking. If I had a dollar for every call asking me for a ride, I'd have one dollar. Well, it's a father daughter reunion. Just because Lisa's in the car, we're going to drive a bit more cautiously so we don't kind of upset her and give her the wrong impression of driving, even though she's caused colossal damage throughout Springfield. Oh, I Excuse me, Chief Wiggum. Can you help? I've got to find my brother. 
Ah, uh, sorry, little girl. I'm busy collecting evidence on Jailbird. We're busting him on the three strikes law. How many strikes do you have so far? Ah, uh, no strikes. But that's only because I'm a very, very bad cop. Now, first of all, if we're gonna go undercover, you will need a disguise. You mean like an eye patch? Hey, good one. <laughs> if we could afford a disguise like that, I wouldn't be getting paid in potato chip coupons. So what disguise do you have? Well, here's one of Ralph's old Halloween costumes. Fine, wait here and I'll get changed. I knew we should have gone with a cool look before. Oh well. The door is locked and I'm too lazy to open it. Get out of my way, jerk ass! Just a few more. For that rubbish looking attire, we've lost a lot of money actually. But we'll try and get it back somewhere or the other. Let's get back in the van and continue, or well, the car rather, continue with the mission. Dead hurt. Where am I gonna put all these? Hey, what's up with that? Slithery sleuthing. Follow Snake and find free strikes of evidence against him. Don't miss any items. Let's just do this thing. We're back to playing the role of detective. Follow Snake and collect evidence. When the police are so incompetent, you got to do their job for them. That should really ring alarm bells. Strike one: counterfeit designer jeans, the foulest of all crimes. That's showing them what for. Strike two: running over an elderly person without a license. Just lucky I can't remember faces. Ah, uh, police babies, move it. Thank goodness for seat belts. Don't be alarmed. I'm a professional bad guy. Hey, out of my way! I need speed! More speed! I don't know. Maybe I'd go faster if I took my pants off. What do you think? All for Lisa. And strike three. Littering. All right. We got all we need on this low life. Now, about your brother. I've seen lots of mysterious government types over at the docks. Uh, maybe they send him on a nice cruise. They got some great package deals these days. Five buffets per boat, inclusive. Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. Ah, you're just saying that. Yes, I am. 
Yeah, but Officer Wiggum is a horrendous Chief Officer and he's not been very helpful in our endeavour to locate Bart. But we're going to save the game here, running out of time. So folks, I'll catch you all in the next episode when I get a chance to play again. Until then, take care, stay safe and happy gaming.